Hi, I'm Joanna Penn and today I'm talking a bit about some writing tips that I learned while scuba diving. Uh, I'm a paddy dive master and I'm also an author and I thought about these lessons when I went diving at Christmas and thought I would share them with you. So here we go. So first of all, about the dive site that inspired me. So it was uh, in Port Stephens in New South Wales in Australia. And uh, it's a kind of temperate and the first dive was just a shore dive. And within the first seven meters, I saw a sea pen. Now I'd never seen a sea pen before in such shallow water, so I was very excited. It was quite murky, you couldn't really see past your elbow, but once you actually got in there and had a look, there were some amazing things there. So getting excited about the, the sea pens, they obviously look like Shakespeare's quill and uh, are just beautiful. So I, was, I thought that would inspire this piece on writing. So first of all, why is scuba diving like writing? Well, noticing the details is really important. As a scuba diver and a writer, you really need to get close and have a look and notice the little things that are important. So if you're a writer, you want to notice how people speak, what they're wearing, you know, what the weather's like, what the smells there are, that type of thing. And when you're diving, you can't just be hanging around in midwater looking for big stuff. You actually have to get down close to things and really have a look to see what's going on, especially if the visibility isn't very good. And that's pretty exciting. So when that dives, particularly in the sponges and the hydroids that are right on the on the seabed, it was only you know 10 meters or so, it was very shallow. Um, there were these little crabs with, with bits of sponge on their claws, you know, hiding. It was very, very cool. Uh, so, yeah, and I wouldn't have seen them if I wasn't that close. So it's important to make your writing as detailed as that. Really look at the details and notice them and write those down. So the next thing is that the experience is important, not just the end result. So in writing, your book may be the end result, but actually you might have a couple of years when you're writing it. So that's a really important time. So that's a, a picture there that I took uh, diving in New Zealand and that was an amazing experience to see these fish form this sort of circle and diving is about being in the moment and enjoying it and really, you know, the end result of diving, I guess, is just to carry on diving and for writing is to carry on writing. So, you know, experience as you go along and don't just focus on I have to finish that book eventually because otherwise your life will pass you by. So the next thing is that discovery, learning and surprise are important. So for example, here's a, a picture taken in New Zealand in a, a dive site called Northern Arch where you can sometimes see, you know, 50, 100 stingrays all up in the arch. It's an amazing dive. So sometimes, I mean, you never know what's going to happen. So you want to be in the moment and ready to experience new things. So you also need to keep that about your writing. You need to keep on learning and get better from experience. And also, I guess, just, you know, sometimes it's surprising. I consider myself, I guess, quite an experienced diver now. But um, on this recent dive, one of, uh, one of them, uh, my buddy and I missed the entrance and we ended up with a long surface swim. It was exhausting. And, and I learned a new lesson that, you know, in nine years of diving, I hadn't really learned before. So that was really exciting. So think about what you want to learn about writing as well. So the next thing is that you are alone, even though you have company. So with, with diving, you have a buddy and a dive boat full of people. With writing, you have clubs and conferences, you have partners, classes, but ultimately you're alone in scuba diving and in writing. You're basically, you have to look after yourself. So, and that's a, a good thing and a bad thing. You know, in scuba, sometimes you just like this picture, you just look up and, you know, it's an amazing experience. And the same with writing, you have to, Think about that uh, when you're on your own and enjoy it and also make it through. So look after yourself and, yeah, remember that you are alone, but that that can be an amazing experience. Next thing is you need the right equipment. And uh, there's a friend of mine, Anna, with all her diving equipment on because in New Zealand the water is quite cold. So um, you obviously need all that to breathe underwater. So as a writer, you don't need that much. You might need a pad and pen, your computer. I use moleskin notebooks, I've coloured pens, I've got a mini netbook and I guess we're getting with more technology, it's quite exciting, but there are things that you need. So basically, 
get those things, get them right, and then get on with writing. Like with scuba, you need those, it, you need that equipment, and then you just get on with it. So the next thing is that self-confidence is important. And in scuba diving, confidence is about the only thing that's going to get you in the water in the first place. Uh, you need to be confident in your gear, confident that you're going to be okay. And there's an example there of um, bronze whaler shark in New Zealand, and you have to be confident they're not going to go, ah, run right away, you know, because they're not going to attack you. <laughs> but um, so self-confidence is also important in writing because it's difficult sometimes that people are going to criticize you or they might not pay you, or you know, you just you might end up feeling that you you need some help. So, if you don't believe in yourself, you are just going to crumple and die. So, even if you have to fake it at first, then just do it and get on with it. Uh, I've just put here a note about that there was a, on the dive boat a guy who just qualified, and on his very first dive, he saw fifteen grey nurse sharks, and he was so excited. And it was, I saw them too, and it was brilliant. Um, but he was just loving it and um, he had confidence and he would dive some more and we all improve by diving more or writing more so that's that's really important. I guess the final thing is stop talking about it and just do it you know so many people say they'd love to scuba dive and not many take the course and not many go regularly so writing is pretty similar many people say they want to write a book but not many actually get on and do it or achieve that goal so this is to encourage you to actually get on and do it so you have to put time into the activity and you need to immerse yourself take the bad times along with the good and go with it i mean sometimes a scuba dive you can be cold you might not see anything you feel sick it's really not a great time and in writing, sometimes you just think, why the hell am I doing this? But both of them have their real high times, and that's really important. So those are my seven lessons. And just a bit about my own diving and my writing there. There's me looking a bit startled, uh, diving in New Zealand. Um, so I learned to dive in Perth in Western Australia. And I've dived all around Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands. And I'm a paddy dive master and I continue to dive, but not as much as I'd like to or I used to. So the pictures here are mainly uh, of New Zealand dive sites, particularly the Poor Knights Islands, which is the time I took all the pictures. <laughs> uh, in terms of my writing, I'm an author of three books and I also run www.thecreativepen.com, which is a site for authors on how to write, publish, sell and promote your book. So I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks.